Hey guys, Andre here. Are you ready for some mind-blowing AI news? Because I have some for you. Today, we're going to talk about the top five insane AI news that have happened very recently. These AI models are doing things that you won't believe. Seriously, this is some next level stuff. So subscribe to Stock and Hustle and get ready for the top five most incredible AI news of 2024 yet. The first news is about OpenAI's Sora. You must have heard about it already. It's the text-to-video model that can create realistic and imaginative scenes from text instructions. This model is so amazing that it can turn your words into movies, literally. You just type in what you want to see and Sora will generate a video for you. How cool is that? Imagine the possibilities. You can create your own stories, animations, documentaries, or anything you can think of. You can be your own director, producer, and writer. You can unleash your creativity and express yourself in a new way. So, here's the big news. We have got an exciting update from OpenAI regarding Sora. The company has recently given early access to Sora to some artists and filmmakers, and they have created some incredible works using this model. For example, there's this mini film called Airhead by Shy Kids, which is about a man with a balloon head. It's hilarious and surreal, and it shows how Sora can generate creative video content from text descriptions. The film is only 1.5 minutes long, but it's packed with humor, emotion, and symbolism. It's one of the best and weirdest things I've ever seen on YouTube. There are also other short films, which are equally impressive, and they explore different aspects of Sora, such as its vision, multimodality, and generativity. These films are not only entertaining, but also inspiring. They show how Sora can help artists and filmmakers in their creative process and the potential and challenges of using Sora for artistic purposes. It's really fascinating to hear their perspectives and experiences. Sora is still in development, but it's already blowing our minds with its capabilities. I can't wait to get my hands on it and try it out for myself. Are you also looking forward to using Sora? If yes, then for which purpose would you be using it? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. The second news is about Google's Gemini 1.5, a next-generation AI model that can handle up to 1 million tokens of input. That's equivalent to about 4 million characters or 800,000 words. That's a lot of information. This means that Gemini 1.5 can perform complex tasks that require long context understanding, such as reading a whole book or a research paper and answering questions about it. Gemini 1.5 can also handle various tasks such as natural language understanding, generation, and translation, as well as image, and video processing. Google claims that Gemini 1.5 is more than 10 times faster and cheaper than its predecessor, Gemini 1.0. It uses a new mixture of experts or MOE architecture, which routes the request to a group of smaller expert neural networks, so responses are faster and higher quality. Gemini 1.5 includes two models, Pro and Ultra, with different levels of capability and cost. Pro is the smallest and cheapest model, but it can still handle up to 1 million tokens of input. Ultra is the medium-sized model, and it can handle up to 5 million tokens of input. Gemini 1.5 is a multimodal model, which means it can process text, images, and videos, as well as generate outputs in different modalities. For example, Gemini 1.5 can generate summaries of long documents, such as books, articles, or reports. This model can also generate captions for images and videos, as well as translate them into different languages and generate natural language responses to queries, such as questions, commands, or requests. Gemini 1.5 can come up with natural explanations for complex concepts, such as math, science, or logic. Gemini 1.5 is still in development, but it's already available for early testing to some developers and enterprise customers via AI Studio and Vertex AI. Google claims that Gemini 1.5 is more helpful, safe, and responsible than previous models, and that it will enable entirely new capabilities and applications. Gemini 1.5 sounds like a very impressive and powerful AI model. I wonder how it will compete against already established competitor models, such as GPT-4 Turbo or the recently released Claude 3. We'll have to wait and find out. The third breaking news is about NVIDIA's Project Groot, a general purpose foundation model for humanoid robots. This project aims to enable humanoid embodiments to learn from video data and perform a wide range of tasks, such as navigation, manipulation, and communication. Groot is trained in GPU accelerated simulation, and it can learn from its own experiences and from human demonstrations. Groot can also generate robot movements from video data, which means that it can imitate human actions and behaviors. The project also includes a new computer, Jetson Thor, for humanoid robots based on the NVIDIA Thor system on a chip. Jetson Thor is a modular and optimized platform for performance, power, and size. Jetson Thor can run Groot and other AI models on the 
edge without relying on cloud computing. Jetson Thor can also communicate with other Jetson Thor devices and form a network of humanoid robots. NVIDIA has partnered with several robotics companies and research institutes to test and deploy Groot. Some of these partners are Boston Dynamics, Hanson Robotics, SoftBank Robotics, and the University of Tokyo. They have provided their humanoid robots such as Atlas, Sophia, Pepper, and Kangoro to be equipped with Jetson Thor and Groot. These robots can then perform various tasks such as walking, running, jumping, dancing, picking up objects, playing games, and talking to humans. Project Groot is a moonshot to solve embodied AGI in the physical world. NVIDIA believes that humanoid robots can be the ultimate interface for AI and that they can benefit humanity in many ways. NVIDIA also believes that humanoid robots can coexist and cooperate with humans and that they can learn from each other. Project Groot is a bold and ambitious project that aims to make humanoid robots smarter, more capable, and more human-like. The fourth big news is about Anthropic's Claude 3, a general-purpose AI system that claims to outperform ChatGPT, Gemini, and other leading AI models on some specific benchmarks of capability, such as expert knowledge, reasoning, mathematics, and coding. Claude 3 can handle a wide range of tasks, such as open-ended conversation, collaboration on ideas, content creation, data extraction, and more. Claude 3 is trained on a large and diverse corpus of text and images, which enables it to learn from various domains and modalities. Anthropic says that Claude 3 exhibits near-human levels of comprehension and fluency on complex tasks, and that it is more accurate and less prone to errors than previous versions. Claude 3 also promises to be faster, easier to use, and more capable of retaining information from previous prompts. Claude 3 is offered in three variants, Haiku, Sone, and Opus, with Opus being the most powerful. Claude 3 is currently in beta and available to a small subset of customers. The fifth and final news is about Amazon's Rufus, a new AI shopping assistant that uses generative AI to help users search and shop for products. Rufus is designed to make shopping easier and more convenient by generating answers from Amazon and web data. Users can type or speak a question into the search bar in Amazon's mobile app, and a chat window will appear at the bottom of their screen. Users can ask conversational questions such as, what are the differences between trail and road running shoes? Or compare drip and pour over coffee makers. Rufus will then reason across modalities and output text. Rufus also also has the ability to analyze uploaded images, documents, and other files, and provide relevant information and suggestions. Rufus is a new and innovative AI shopping assistant that can help users find what they are looking for. Rufus can also provide useful and interesting information and insights. Rufus is a new way to shop online. And that's it for the top 5 insane AI news of March 2024. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to Stock and Hustle for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.